Leonard Fournette at running back for Jacksonville on first and ten. And the carry goes to Fournette. Nowhere to go. Tackled. There's Fournette on second and ten. He's got some room on the left side. And Fournette is shoved out of bounds close to the ten-yard line. Good on their opening drive. There is no give up at the end of runs. Sure, you're on the boundary, but Leonard Fournette see him trying to lower his shoulder. Five minutes, and it's first and goal for Jacksonville. Fournette out of the backfield, makes the catch at the 10. Fournette to the end zone for a touchdown. His first receiving touchdown in his NFL career. And Jacksonville again on their opening drive, able to put points on the board. You're getting coverage right there on the inside, but there's traffic that he has to go through. A nice job of not running into him, making him bubble around. For first down, so first and 10. They keep it on the ground here to put Fournette, who slips the tackle, spinning his way close to the 35-yard line again. This year of, of 17 yards, and everybody's waiting, wait. You're waiting for that big run, just like we saw Bilal Powell. You can see it. You, you can kind of feel that it's coming. That move, that spin move, he just has a variety of things that he can do that you wouldn't expect a back his size to be able to do. Second and one for that right up the middle. He's got the first down. And, and that's one of them, to be able to, to push the pile. the running back. And he gets the call on first down. Fournette over the left side. Offensive lineman active. Now he's down to six. Fournette. And that's going to be right there. They lost to Troy. And again on the carry. And we're going to go back to New York for an NFL Today update with J.B. and Nate. Who can't Brady throw a team? Todd at seven. It's Fournette and the bruising running back takes it across the 45. Give him one-on-one -on -one matches on the outside. There's a screen to Fournette. He caught a touchdown in the first quarter, and he's got more room to run. Fournette finally out of bounds, close to the 15-yard line. Marcus May, the rookie, with the tackle, a gain of 28. You know, I, I don't have a sports car. You have a sports car, and when you have a sports car and you're able to step on that accelerator, it just kind of goes. Well, I, I meant you have a go-kart. But that's what Leonard Fournette is able to do. He can just step on it and go. And you, you think, oh, here's this big minivan that's been running into it, running into it, and then all of a sudden the sports car appears. A lot of radical changes that happen. Fournette gets the first carry of the second half and takes it to the 28. It's Fournette again. And Fournette to the 30, executive vice president of football operations for the Jaguars, who have done nothing offensively. 13 unanswered points. Fournette, a final hole, a late flag comes in as Fournette is wrapped up at the 31. That's a and lot of making something out of nothing right there. Yeah. First and 10 for Jacksonville, and it's a handoff to Leonard Fournette up the middle. Taken down at the 29 yards, maybe line. the first quarter. But the, the difference in this game is when a hole opens up for a jet running back, it just opens up and stays open. When Leonard Fournette gets a little daylight, they close it down. So the Jets, even though Fournette's having a decent game, they're preventing him from breaking that big, big run. Second down and two. Back to Fournette, and he doesn't get there. Andre, doubtful to return. Jaguars start this drive at the 20. They begin it on the ground with Fournette, and he is going nowhere. And 10 for Jacksonville. There's Fournette. And Fournette slipping tackles inside the 30 and still going. Leonard Fournette, he won't go down. Finally stopped at the 26-yard line after a gain of nine. Hit in the backfield. Again, at the line of scrimmage, another two yards down the field. The yards after contact on this play, he gained nine, but he got 10 yards after contact because he was contacted in the backfield. So there's, there's an adrenaline that certain players have where they can turn it up a notch. Down and one. Back to Fournette. He's got the first down. First and Jamal Adams and Mercedes Lewis could be a nice matchup. Bortles looking to throw. It's a screen to Fournette. He's got the 20. Fournette to the outside at the 10. Fournette takes it in. Touchdown, Jacks. There is a flag down. What I used to try and teach my guys to do, punch and replace with your hands. Once you grab like that and he breaks away from you, you pull him down. 
you know, Leonard Fournette is going to run over that guy at the seven-yard line at that point. The way to beat the Jaguars here in overtime. Fournette, the running back. And he'll take the handoff running right. And Fournette spins his way up to the 30 for a gain of five. Darren it's Lee. just Mercedes Lewis. Yeah. It's Fournette up the middle, and the Jets were right there. Fournette stuffed at the line. This Jets runs have speed at the bottom of your screen and Keelan Cole. Instead, they run it to Fournette around the left side, and he crosses the 45-yard line for a gain of five. Third and short for Jacksonville. You know, it almost looks like on this play that Leonard Fournette is rushing it a little too much. He needs a little more distance between himself and those two big offensive linemen who are outside where a little more patience.